Geekdom. Today is Fragment Friday. Uh, I want to say before we <laughs> continue on, for those who are new, thank you all so much for giving me your time and checking out this video. I appreciate it. For uh, Fragment Fridays, we always react to something spooky, scary, some type of horror thing, and usually it's horror shorts. And today we are checking out a horror short film called Pizza Panic Party. <laughs> this is uh, uploaded by Gorgasma's channel. Check them out in the descriptions below. Uh, it's my first time, I believe, checking out their channel. Um, this does show that it is uh, an 18 plus video. So I'm guessing it's like some imagery and stuff that, you know, they couldn't display regularly. <laughs> so they had to make it 18 plus. But yeah we'll definitely check it out see what's going on with anything that i would need to not show stuff i would definitely try my best to uh censor what i can but let's uh check this out see what's going on with this piece of panic party Ooh. like it like it gasma presents I was going to say, I'm about to butcher this name. 1986. Going to the 80s. I think I still have cassette tapes in a box somewhere. Why well, is letting us know each person's name? I like how it definitely looks 80s and it feels 80s. As far as this room is so good. Cancer Small Guys, stop it. She just might. That was fine. Let's eat. Oh, save for the pizza. Ugh, so hungry. <laughs> Does that say die like the rest? No, I think they meant to spell dine, like D-I-N-E. Where did you get this from? A pizza place, duh. It's just some new joint in town. Pizza That's place, it. duh. Here we go. Ew, uh, gag me with a spoon. Mushrooms mm -mm. and olives? Are you kidding me? Pick them off or pay for own pizza next time. Margo, right? don't be like that. She can't help it if she was raised by picky eating bimbo apes from planet Fuckwad. Okay. I'm sorry that mushrooms are totally disgusting and pepperoni isn't. Okay, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you call me? Jeanette. Ooh, I'm so scared. They don't look like they would be friends for some reason. <laughs> Why y'all at this slumber party? What do you guys want to do in my inbox? Um, we could play a game. I have Twister. Play. Okay. Um, we could watch a movie. My dad rented a nightmare on Elm Street. Play. Oh, so <laughs> I was about to cut y'all out. <laughs> I was about to cut y'all out. They all did not call my brother on the street like. That. Hey. Uh, oh my god. Guys. What's this? A oh, brain sucker. And what's it doing? Starving. <laughs> okay. Okay. You guys are so weird. <laughs> Get your pretty fucking fingers off my hair and turn the music back on. Fine. Going. Party pooper. Mm. 
Mmm. Mmm. You okay, honey? Oh, yeah. Mm. Maybe those mushrooms aren't good. Killer tunes, oh, yeah. okay. Gotcha. Mm. Mm -mm. Did she take drugs in front of you? Do what she says in the league. It's an interesting edit. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> she just got thrown into a freaking glass mirror. Get up and help us, my ass. Oh my gosh. You <laughs> did a horrible job in standing. Oh my gosh. She has powers, okay? I don't know what y'all gonna do. Uh, Y'all do something to help her out. <laughs> Did you have to say something before hitting them? <laughs> mm -mm. Yes, you do it. Somebody do it. Like, it doesn't matter who does it. This is for Sandra, you plain sucking fuck. Just 
so two people die in this. <laughs> All right. Who is this directed by? <laughs> Wait a minute. Story about Mark and Heather. Okay. It's written and directed by Graham Denman. All right. <laughs> That's a piece of panic party. Uh, yeah, definitely body horror. Um, very, very interesting. I thought it looked really, really good. They did an excellent job with it. This is done in Los Angeles, so I was like, it shouldn't be a surprise then how good this was, even for a short. Uh, I was going to say, I don't know if they're are amateur filmmakers or what is going on with it, but it looks so professionally done. The body horror, the, the makeup, a lot of it, the way it's shot, <laughs> the acting and stuff was really, really good. I was like, it's a, as far as just for them goes. <laughs> Uh, I thought they did an excellent job with it. Like, this looked pretty, pretty good. I would, wouldn't mind seeing a longer version of this if this was, like, a bigger, uh, survival thing for them. Uh, yeah. This would be pretty interesting. I don't know if it was, like, a big full-length film would work. Because sometimes, like, if it, you turn something to a full-length, it's not going to work too well. Um... Uh, but I feel like if this was um, maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes uh, movie, I think it still might work pretty nicely. But yeah, this is very much enjoyable. Uh, very horrific, gory, uh, gross, <laughs> disgusting. Um, Pissed me off a bit with the Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> I'll, I'll, like I said, I almost cussed, I almost cussed him out. <laughs> and I'm not even in the room with him. That's my uh, favorite movie. If uh, Yeah. Just a little side note about me. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street is my favorite movie. It is what it is. The, the first one. Uh... By Wes Craven. Definitely had the feels and stuff of 80s. I thought they did an excellent job with that. So this is this is going to be up there. It's as far as just horror short films for this year. Um, and then the comedy worked pretty nicely as well. I don't know. Because I'm I going on... Um, Scary right now. Scary rating. I'm trying to guess of what I would give it as far as just the scary rating and stuff goes. I would probably give it. I give it an eight, cause it's it definitely was scary, horrifying, gross. But I would say it wasn't super super like intense. Well. Sorry about that geek through the memory card had uh gotten full. I don't know how I forgot to uh erase some of the old stuff. <laughs> Usually I do that before doing other recordings, but I just forgot to. But um yeah, my uh still rating would be uh probably an eight, eight point five. I still think it was really, really good. And I enjoyed it a lot, um, but the, as far as just the scares and stuff goes, like it's 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 hard to pick exactly it because I feel like a lot of the stuff was more grotesque than it was scary. In a way, it's as far as just uh, how you build upon a scare and stuff like that. It was just craziness, tension, just going through everything all at once. So I was still. I, I will keep it at an 8. Um, 8.5 maybe. For the scare rating. But yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. In the comments below. Uh, again this all might be edited. <laughs> heavily so. 
yeah y'all please check out the original video uh for a lot of the other like crazy gruesome scenes that you probably were not able to see but yeah thank you all so much for jumping on and giving me a try i really do appreciate it please please do take care of yourselves and others peace geek though